Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it only took a year to get through 2,000 batches. Batch 12,000 is a 12.6% Imperial Stout from Shorts Brewing Company in Bel Air, Michigan. It's just really hard to believe that batch 10,000 came out last year and we're already up to batch 12,000. Now, while I find sometimes these special releases can be hit or miss from shorts, I do appreciate that they try a different style each time and they can be, you know, just a little bit out there. Case in point, this is batch 12,000. It's an imperial stout aged on oak chips with pomegranate. So worst case scenario, this could be very interesting. Best case, it could be awesome. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage and get a look at the label and then get this into a glass. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Ryan Berry, Eric Letowski, Brian Kramer, Zach, and Cam Freeman for helping bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or just buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.com slash draft underscore therapy, where you can get early access to these videos, exclusive patron-only live streams, and a few other special perks available only to patrons. So let's take a look at the label here. Uh, on the front, it's very, there's not, you know, there's not really much to say. It says shorts brew on the top corner with the dancing shorts that I like, I like to call dancing shorts. It says shorts brew batch 12,000 imperial stout aged on oak chips with pomegranate. It has a flaming hoop that Joe Short on a dirt bike is riding through. He's jumping through the thing. But to be honest, the way his trajectory looks, it looks like he's going to hit the fire. And then on the side here, it says brewed and canned by shorts brewing company in Elk Rapids. Michigan. Now, I said Bel Air in the beginning because I think their pub is in Bel Air and their big facility is in Elk Rapids. You know, what, what are you going to do? So there is no canned on date on here. Uh, my big complaint with most shorts beer is that they generally don't put the ABV on the beer, which would be nice to have, you know. So for folks like me, you don't have to look it up on Untapped to get wrong information because Untapped has not always been up to date or the most correct. So going to grab a kind of Belgian snifter, a large snifter style glass. Let's go ahead and crack this one and we will get it in there. And I can already tell from the top, it has a bit of a reddish hue to it. So let's go ahead and pour this. It looks like it's actually pretty thick. There's not a lot of transparency here. It has a brown slash maroon color to it. We're going to let it pour through a little bit more. And that has a nice about two fingers worth of head. It's like a bit of a coffee colored head. It has a bit of a red tinge to it, which, you know, not a bad thing. And I can smell, I can smell the oak. I can smell a bit of, you know, we're going to get, I'm going to say a fruity aroma. I'm not going to say it's pomegranate because I haven't had pomegranate in a while, but uh, I can smell a fruity aroma. So let's go ahead and sniff it in the glass here. Yeah, it, it definitely has like a dark, uh, chocolatey aroma. It has a, again, a fruity aroma, like a, a, a dark fruit kind of aroma. So the head, that's just a really nice head. It's still clinging on there. Let's go ahead and try it out. Cheers. Wow. That is, there's a lot of flavors going on there. This, <laughs> this is almost, so let's talk, let me even get a big enough sip to tell you about the mouthfeel because I feel like the sip I got was just so, whoa, it like sets, puts you in the back of your chair. So let me get a better sip out of here, a better taste, and I'll tell you what the mouth feels like, and then we'll walk through the flavors. It's a bit of a medium mouthfeel, medium to light mouthfeel. Now, first impression, this says it's an imperial stout aged on oak chips with pomegranate. This has the flavor of like a sour stout and not like um and that's th not a bad thing like not but like how vivant brewery vivant will do some sometimes they'll do like a tart stout or a sour stout that's what i'm really getting out of here big time just off the beginning it has a lot of that sourness to it for me and then it has a bit of a chocolate and it has oak for days like you definitely taste the oak chips that they added in there the oak is definitely adding uh you know it's characteristic into this stout for sure. Yeah. That's just really deep, dark chocolate in there. This, the, this drink here was the, the sourness wasn't so kind of 
you know, overwhelming. And I don't think it's necessarily like a wild kind of sour. I feel like the pomegranate, they probably just added tons and tons and tons of pomegranate to this. And that's what's really lending that, that sour flavor to it. I will say I, when I research these beers, I'll generally go to the website of the brewery. Shorts generally has really good descriptions on their website of what this is. And they have like their ABV scale and their IBU scale. The one for batch 12,000 was like blank. It basically said the ABV was the lowest it could be. The IBU was as high as it could be. And there was no description. There wasn't anything saying like, you know, the, the, the flowery stuff that they write about beer, you know, that they'll put on a can that when you drink it, sometimes it doesn't taste like that at all. So it didn't have any of that stuff in the description on the website. It was just blank. So it's, you're kind of going in blind. I had to look on untapped for the ABV, but I feel like the pomegranate is what's adding that kind of, um, that sour, that bite to it. And then you definitely taste the oak. It's almost like it's like a, a red wine kind of barrel aged stout, in, if that makes sense. You're getting that kind of um, tartness of like a red wine or that deep flavor of a red wine, but you're getting that dark chocolate note of the stout of an imperial stout. And again, subsequent drinks, that first one is really like, whoa, you know, it was just like blows your wig back a little bit. I don't have much of a wig, but what I did have, I felt like it was being blown back. But you get that red wine kind of uh, deep, like red, you know, grape sweetness, but then you get, or, or sourness basically. And, but you're getting like the, you're just getting that really dark chocolate. And then I'm still getting that like a real nice roasty malt flavor and a really dark, really bitter dark chocolate flavor on the tail end, kind of bringing up the rear on this beer. You get that tartness at the beginning, you get that, that, that dark, you know, that dark kind of bitter chocolate flavor in the, at the end, and in the middle you're getting this just kind of nice sweet quality to it. So it's a really complex and really interesting stout. You know, I, I reading the label and kind of looking at this, I wasn't expecting to get this big of a bursting flavor. The Batch 10,000 was a brewed IPA, and I remember not being super impressed by it, but I think they did a barley wine before that, and I really enjoyed that one. So it's kind of been hit or miss, but this one I would say, if you're, if you're not really into the idea of getting maybe a sour or a tart stout, this might not appeal to you. But I think for those of you that are into those tart or sour stouts or that kind of fringe stout flavor this is should definitely be up there for you or something you should go out and look for i would say if you're on the fence uh definitely try and pick up a single it's like i said it's 12 plus percent i i would refer back to the can but again it's not on here so i can't tell you exactly but i think it's a really interesting beer and if you're looking if you're looking to be a little bit adventurous on the beer that you try i don't think you could get much more adventurous than this one because like I said at, at the beginning, it was just so tart and it just, it was like I couldn't even take a full, you know, swig of it. I was just kind of like I had to take a sip of it. But subsequent drinks and subsequent tastes, I'm, I'm picking up more and more and getting more and more, you know, different flavors out of it. And honestly, with shorts being so diverse in their big like announced uh batches like batch 8000 10000 12000 it totally is it's perfect for that for them to you know do something so audacious as this beer uh for the 12000 batch you know it, it's just got all these complex flavors i can't talk enough about how just how changing how how much it's been changing through all these different flavors again at the beginning it was really tart and had a lot of chocolate to it now the tartness is kind of subsiding, the chocolate and the and the roasted malts are kind of subsiding, and now I'm getting a little bit more of that that oak sweetness and the and the pomegranate sweetness, the fruity sweetness that I wasn't getting so much at the beginning. And if I sat here and waited for the entire time from it would take for me to finish this, this would be like a 30 minute video because I feel like as it warms and as it breathes a little bit more and as it sits in the glass, it gets more and more complex it changes a little bit more and the flavors i was getting at the beginning and the flavors i was getting at the end are just kind of merging melding kind of twisting around so it's just a really interesting beer by that respect if you're adventurous if you're looking for adventure in beer maybe trying something you haven't had before or something you haven't had in a while i think that batch 12000 is something you should try if you're not looking if you're not looking to be so adventurous 
this might be one you want to pass up. All right, friends, that has been Batch 12,000 from Shorts. Have you had this beer? What did you think? And do you have a favorite specialty batch release from Shorts? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.